What's going on, everybody? Oh, man. I uh, got to tell you all something pretty funny. So I've been talking for the past 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm using a new software and um, literally have just been talking to myself here for 10 minutes. But it's all good. It's so important that um, I'm just, uh, I just, I guess I just talked to myself for 10 minutes. But anyways, um, so they are introducing this assault weapons ban. Um, and it's extremely goofy. Um, I don't understand it. I don't understand how people can surround it. I don't understand people how don't, don't have any logic in regards to it. Um, but it's kind of where we're at right now in America. Um, you know, unfortunately we're at this place where logic is just, it's just gone. There's, there's no such thing as logic for some people. So I'm going to go through this and I want to start this by a clip by, um, one of our one of our favorite guys. We need to ban assault weapons in high capacity magazines. And if we can't ban assault weapons, then we should raise the age to purchase them from 18 to 21. Well, that's cute. Now let me show y'all how stupid some people are. Whoever works at NBC. And, and wrote out the title of this YouTube video that I just played should get fired. Look at this. We need to ban assault weapons in high-powered magazines. What is a high-powered magazine? What does that mean? Where's the gas in it? Where's the battery? Electronics? High powered? Last time I checked, it's either metal or plastic that goes into a gun. Oh, man. But as, as far as this assault weapons ban, I think Nancy Pelosi came up with it or, or Biden or whoever. And, uh, I want y'all to listen to something that Trudeau said, and I, I'm sure a lot of you have heard it already, but I want you to listen to the end of it, because this kind of shows you the point of these people want to ban guns or get rid of them or, or do whatever, but they don't understand what they are for. Introducing legislation to implement a national freeze on handgun ownership. What this means is that it will no longer be possible to buy, sell, transfer, or import handguns anywhere in Canada. In other words, we're capping the market for handguns. We recognize that the vast majority of gun owners use them safely and in accordance with the law. But other than using firearms for sport shooting and hunting, there is no reason anyone in Canada should need guns in their everyday lives. Did y'all hear what he said at the end there? Hunting, they're used for hunting, and they're used for, uh, I think he said sport shooting. Oh, so you just left out self-defense. They're used for nothing more than hunting and sport shooting. This is a leader of a country, and he forgot to say self-defense. That's first for me. All the other stuff's just fun. Oh, we go out, get a deer, get some hogs, go out and have some fun, see how good of a shot we are. But at the end of the day, they're for our protection. And this dude just straight up forgot that.
So, I, I mean, I have, a, I have a couple of recommendations um, if these politicians, the president, and whoever else is this serious about getting rid of guns. Um, and it's pretty simple. It's you surround yourself with guns. You surround yourself with the most high-powered guns in the world. Get rid of them. Walk around. Go visit Uvalde. Go visit uh, Tulsa. Wherever else there was a shooting this week, go visit there without one bodyguard or Secret Service member carrying a gun if you're that serious about it. I mean, I mean, the other day, the other day he said, well, a nine millimeter bullet can blow a lung out of the body. Where are the physics on that? How does, how does that make sense? How does a rational human being think of that? Have you never shot a nine millimeter before, Joe? Uh, <laughs> balls and holes. Assault weapons are anything that can be used to assault you. Assault is the actual crime. I can use a bat, a chain, or an assault you with it. And that would be the weapon, ergo assault weapon. Yeah, that's the point. I mean, um, thank you for that. I think there's a lot of points to be made, and we can talk about this literally all night. I, I don't want to keep you all, all all night, but um, I think I think the biggest point is um, look at Ch Chicago, for example. Um, pull this up. So 51 people were shot over Memorial Day in Chicago. That is more people than uh, Buffalo and Uvalde combined. Not a mass shooter, though. Or what they call a mass shooter. Or what hits the news. It's just 51 people who were shot in Chicago has some of the most strictest gun laws, if the most strictest, in the entire nation. How's that working out? Like, seriously. Joe, go to Chicago. Like, you want to see how gun laws are working? You cannot buy an AR-15 in Chicago. You cannot buy an AR-15 in Chicago. You can buy one in Illinois, but not in Chicago. But look at Chicago. It's a mess. And the mayor there had the balls to say, oh, well, yeah, we need, to, we need to look at gun reform and all this stuff. No. We need to look at the culture of our country. ESPN or, or whatever the, the big sports um, station is nowadays, I used to love watching all that stuff. Now I cannot stand it. They did a big old piece on, on I'm not even going to say his name, but the dude who compete in women in, uh, competed in women's sports. Oh, man, I just had to stay true to myself. No, you just sucked at competing with men, and you took advantage of this whole bullshit movement. Where was that in your story? But that's the point, and I'm really... If y'all watched the retirement video that I did, where I said I'm not talking about politics in general, I'm really not. I'm focusing on the most important thing in America right now, and it's our guns. But the point I'm trying to make is the culture that we're moving into. It's, oh, well, uh, you know, in school, we'd rather, you know, take the soft approach and make sure that you know, kids can explore sexualities instead of keeping them safe or taking measures to, to keep them safe. There was a White House, um, 
there was a White House press meeting the other day. And um, I forget her name. She's the black lady that goes up there and talks um, when, when I don't even know if Saki's still in there. But um, she goes up there and she says, well, you know what? Um, the president doesn't believe in harder, hardening down schools. Really? What school do, do your kids go to, Sleepy Joe? I bet there's F-15 surrounding that school. Probably not that large of a weapon, but close. What do you mean not hardening down schools? That's the future of our nation. So I wanted to go over one thing. Um, <laughs> uh, somebody wrote Happy Gay Month. Yeah, it's not, you're not really in the right place for that, but all right, whatever, dude. Um, so I don't know if y'all remember, there was a case, um, uh, I think it was Brian Laundry. He like, killed his girlfriend or something, then killed himself. But Dog the Bounty Hunter was on this. And so he was on some show where he thought it would be a good idea to just go ahead and talk a whole bunch of BS. Literally. And uh, check this out. Across the country. I think another big thing right now on people's mind across the country is how all these nuts are getting guns. And for many years, I've thought about, you know, I've chased a lot of guys with guns. What we need, what this administration right now is trying to pass laws about not possessing guns in parks or not possessing guns at a theater house. That is not going to stop just because some people have been shot in a park or in a supermarket. For you to have a law that says you cannot have one there didn't work in the first place. Here's my idea after 40 some years of experience. You need a mental health card from a doctor that says you qualify to be able to own a gun. You have to have a mental evaluation, believe this or not, to be a psychologist. You have to have a mental evaluation to be a police officer a fireman there are so many jobs in america where you have to have a mental evaluation hey dog do dog you're the you're a friend of mine you're a friend of the show but it, it's 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 in some places called red red flag or red alert uh, laws I, I gotta ask you this sir you know i can't even listen to any more of it i mean how would that work i, I mean you're just gonna go to the doctor how, who, who's gonna examine the doctor Who's going to see if the doctor's mentally there? Does anyone know what a 22 can, uh, 22 can do? Like a ping pong ball when it enters your body. If a 9 millimeter is a high cal, what my D classify as? Keep the good work, HDC. Yeah, I mean, there's been studies that if you get shot in the head with a 22, the likelihood of it having an exit wound is not high and that it's just going to bounce around in your head. So if you're shot in the head with it, it actually can be more deadly, but of course they're not going to, they're not going to know about that. They don't ban cars when they're used to kill people. There's no difference with guns. Um, yeah, that's a great point. Thank you for that. I, I was going to say something about this earlier. It's kind of like, um, you know, someone killing someone when they drink and drive. Um, you know, there, there are, I don't, I don't know how many, probably there's been millions since alcohol 
originated. And alcohol is still here. It's just not as big of a number at one specific time. But it's still killing more people. You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of like, uh, same thing with smoking. It kills a ton of people. But it's like if some guy dies from emphysema, are they just going to be like, okay, everybody has to stop smoking? No. But for some reason, and we all know what it is, they want complete power. Once they have guns, there's nothing for them to be afraid of. But I can tell you that you will not ever get my guns. Ever. It is a God-given right. And I believe that to my core. To my core. I consider my guns an extension of me. And look, I get it. I'm trying to play the, the put myself in, in your shoes type of person. You want something to blame, fine. Blame the way this country has been conditioned. We've, condi we've been conditioned to be soft. Very soft. Not, okay, there's gun violence. You live in Chicago, you better be. You better be caring. If you're going into a Walmart, if you're walking down the street, whatever. That's not the message on the news. That's not even the message on Fox. That's why I don't really talk about this stuff anymore. Because it's all crap. I am straight America now. I am straight what this country was built on. And they want to take away the right to defend ourselves. Then, then what do you want us to do? You want us to all walk around with baseball bats? Then that's going to be the next thing. It's never going to end. There's over 400 million guns, less than uh, 0.01%. What's going on with my mouse? Uh, using crime, what is, why doesn't anyone talk about that? It's not about, for them, it's not about how many guns are used. It's who, they, who do they think are using the guns? I mean, Biden had the balls the other day to say, we must stop this carnage. Okay, well, you defund the police. That's like the first, the first stop against crime. Now you want to take away guns. Do you think criminals care about gun laws? Do you think they're like, oh, man, well, they, we don't have constitutional carry in our, our state. So, you know, I was going to go rob that bank but the law doesn't allow it, so do I break the gun law, or do I, like, what do I, no, no. If someone wants to do some heinous thing, your laws don't matter. Like, somebody give me a politician who's pro-gun, and I will give him everything he needs to say in front of all these people. What criminal is going to be like, Oh, you have a ban on assault weapons? Well, I mean, I can buy one on the street, but, oh, no, it's, it's, it's a law. Those are the people who are doing these crimes. And even if they were bought legally, that's the new thing. Oh, well, it was bought legally. They're nuts. There are always going to be people in this nation who are nuts. Same thing with these 
people who, you know, want to cut their dicks off and call themselves a woman and think that's normal. There are always going to be people like that, but it's a very, very, very small percent of the population. And we're never going to change that. The only thing we can do is combat it by arming ourselves, being good with a gun. Training doesn't need to be mandated. Absolutely not. But I think it's on every American to be the best they to be the best they possibly can with a gun for their family's sake. For their self. Because you never know when that day is gonna come when someone pops out of a car at a, a grocery store and starts shooting it up. You just don't know. <clears throat> First thing I learned about firearm safety and responsibility, liberty or death, never comply, never surrender to the incompetent and cowardly government. Yeah, I mean, um, this whole thing's really sad. Um, you know, they don't, they don't talk about, you know, well, they, they try to go through their minds on, well, why are these shootings happen? Well, maybe people are pissed off. Maybe, maybe someone can't fill up their gas tank anymore because gas is six bucks. They can't get to work. They see no joy in life anymore because it's too damn hard. Now, I will never identify with that victim mindset, but someone who has a soft mind, someone who does these types of shootings, easy. Easy will take that and say, oh, screw it. It's not worth it anymore. It's not worth trying anymore. It's not worth making minimum wage anymore to just spend it all at the gas pump. They don't look at it like that. There is no accountability for what they have done. None. Driving is a privilege. Owning guns is a right given by God. They are not to hunt. They are to protect. Other rights are like the First Amendment. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I personally believe that you can do what you want with your gun. Obviously, there's consequences if you do something stupid like shoot up a fucking school. But if you're a responsible gun owner, like 99.9% 90, .9 of America is, then fuck off on trying to take our guns. Not going to happen. Thanks, Paul P. Dems are trying to force gun violence to be the primary issue for the midterms because they are failing on every other issue. I mean, that's, that's just so easy to overcome. It's so easy to overcome. If they think they're going to go into the midterms and say, oh, well, we failed on every other issue, but we're going after guns. Okay, sir. Why are you going after guns? Because you failed at keeping America safe. So let's just add that to the failed list. What have you not failed at? There is no outcome where they can go in there and say, oh, well, we're doing a good thing because we're addressing gun violence. It's happening under your watch. This is how screwed up politics are nowadays. Time to go full libertarian ATF, NFA, and felony law prohibiting the free exercise of released prisoners abolished. It's a right, let's act like it. Yeah, somebody asked me um, the other day if I still support police after this um, Uvalde shooting 
and the bullshit that has come along with it. They still haven't given the public answers. And here's what I'll say. I'm not a generalizing person. Um, I support the police, but anything that I support, I look like a bro or I look at it like a brother. If you screw up, I'm going to be harder on you than I would on the opposing team. Because that's how we learn. That's how we get better. And how it's being handled right now, I mean, they went up to the chief. I don't know what news company did. And he's like, oh, well, we're going to give you answers once the families are done grieving. How long do you think it takes to grieve? How long, what's the timeline on a father losing their 10-year-old daughter to grieve? Can you, can you give me a solid answer on that, Chief Arredondo? Oh, so I guess we're going to be waiting for five, six years, 10, 15. Do you ever stop grieving for something like that where your kid is shot? American hunters and veterans are the largest standing military in the world. 90 million strong. Good luck confiscating our weapons. God bless, Patriot. Thanks, Jonathan. I agree. Um, I still think that we are outmatched with the technology that our military has, drones, all that stuff. But first off, you're not going to find them. We're too smart. We're not like the other side. We're prepared for anything. I am prepared to defend my God given right. Whether that's moving to butt fuck Egypt and making sure that you never see me again, if, you, if that's your plan. Or if I can't, good luck. Isn't it sad that it has to come to this, though? Like, it, it, it legitimately kind of makes me sad. This is America. This isn't North Korea. This isn't, uh, where, where was it today? Chile? Where the president, or whatever they call him there, is like, yeah, we're introducing a, a whatever they do out there. I don't know what they're called, laws or whatever they say. Um, that handgun ownership is prohibited. Can you imagine if Biden got up there today and was like, hey guys, everything is prohibited. We're going to have a gun uh, turn in center. Okay, sir. Uh, well, here's a BB gun. How much are you paying for guns? A thousand dollars? Okay. Well, you didn't specify what kind of guns. So here's here's a BB gun, a Nerf gun, water gun. Um, I think I have one of those rubber band shooting guns. Oh, the other ones. I yeah, I misplaced them. You know, in the attic or a hole or I buried a horse last week. I may have thrown him in there with him. I don't. I don't know. Today, purchased my first gun. That's what I'm talking about right there. A 9mm Tiffany Blue Glock gun. One is better than zero. Civil War on the Horizon, yes. Um, congrats on your first gun. Glock's always a good one to go with. Um, congrats. That's awesome. I still can't believe, oh man, I'm using this new software. I, I think I told you all in the beginning. I literally was talking to myself for 10 minutes on like, I pressed stream, but I didn't press go live. So I was just sitting here talking. And I thought like y'all were commenting on what I was talking about. And then I realized that somebody was like, where is Dan? <laughs> 
Oh man, me and technology obviously don't work great. Um, good luck taking guns in Alaska. Not going to happen. We have too many people with guns and are not willing to give them up. I mean, it's not going to happen anywhere. I mean, Alaska would probably be the toughest place to take them because they'd have to go all the way up there and move a ton of personnel. But, I mean, you're talking about, I don't know how many enlisted and how many um, reserve military we have, maybe 2 million, 2 point something police. I mean, let's just say all law enforcement in this country including military is, I don't know, I'm just guessing here, 5 million. Good luck. 5 million versus 400 and something million guns. Not saying that they're going to be pointed at you, but I'm saying you're going to collect 400 and something million guns. You're not going to live long enough to do that. You're going to be 90-something. Yeah, it's all it's all kind of crazy. Um you know, I would I would really love to have a sit down with some of these people who are like the the top dogs in this nation who are like, "Oh, gun control, all this stuff." I would legitimately like to sit them down. I'll be respectful. Like, look, can I just explain the facts to you? Because you're fucking retarded. Okay, now I'll be respectful after I said that. 99.9% .9 of the people in the U.S., their guns sit at home. They don't even carry them. Because there's so many laws regarding it. And because some nutcases do some stupid crap, you're just going to try to punish the whole nation. 85 billion in weapons given to Taliban. And they want to take ours. Yeah, right. Yeah, there was some... Um, I forget his name. I think it's uh, Brandon Herrera. He, he went to the NRA convention in Houston and just trolled a whole bunch of protesters about guns. And... Uh, oh, crap. I forgot. I forgot what I was going to say about it. Oh, he, he said, well, do you support like a gun confiscation where uh, the government gets all of our guns and then sends them over to Ukraine to like help them fight the war? And these people were like, oh, yeah, that sounds great. What did they say on NBC again? The, the high powered magazines? Yeah. Send the high powered magazines over to Ukraine, too. Stupid. My God. I lost all my guns in a kayak accident. You know, I have heard bad things about uh, kayaks lately. Um, I myself had an accident. I was, uh, I built a shed, just like a shitter hole across the pond on my land. And, uh, Boat wasn't working that day. So, um, yeah, all my guns are gone as well. But, you know, it's the risk of using a kayak. And Tifa says we are coming to the rural areas, and there's a picture of a grandma with an AR saying, well, hurry up then, I have a pie in the oven. Yeah. That sounds like a good old grandma. Defend the home and then offer you a piece of apple pie. Some vanilla ice cream. That ain't America. I don't know what is.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll be the next thing. No more boats. Uh, Trudeau in Canada will start that one. Yeah, sorry, guys. We can't have any more boats. Um, people are taking guns to hunt and to sports shoot, but to not defend themselves. Trudeau, because that's what you said. Idiot. All right, y'all. Um, appreciate you getting on here with me. It looks like I'm having a little bit of trouble with the, the live right now. I promise I'm going to get this thing figured out. Um, but uh, yeah, good talk tonight. Appreciate all you being here. And uh, 